Hi Capricorn, this is your September forecast and this is one very big month. We've got the eclipses, we've got Mercury, the planet that rules communication, travel, technology going direct and the big news is that Jupiter, planet of good fortune, abundance, wealth, learning, changes sign which only happens once a year. And as if all that wasn't enough, we've got an extra new moon at the very end of the month. So let's look at what it all means for you, my lovely Capricorns. Well, on the first of the month, we've got a new moon solar eclipse happening here, up here in your ninth house. A lot happening in this ninth house, uh, Capricorns. So this is going to be a wonderful time for learning something new, some new beginnings maybe to do with something legal, maybe you've had a legal situation going on and something can shift and change that may have been stuck. New beginnings for travelling. Where do you want to go? Where is it you've never been to before? What would you like to do differently? It's the ninth house and the ninth house has everything to do with bringing meaning into your life. Developing the spiritual side of your life. Maybe learning something new. And this will be wonderful with this new moon solar eclipse in that ninth house, really igniting you to really look at bringing more meaning into every single area of your life. And you could meet some foreign people, some people from different cultures, different nationalities. It could be a very exciting time. And on the 10th of the month, that's when Jupiter changes sign and goes into your 10th house, my lovely Capricorns, joining Venus, which is there till the 24th of this month. And that Jupiter is going to stay there for a year and a month until October the 10th of 2017. So Capricorns, this is a wonderful time for expanding your career in some way. Maybe you're going to get a promotion, you get some good news. Maybe you need to learn some new skills. Jupiter wants you to really expand yourself. Maybe you're going to take your career in a brand new direction or expand what you're already doing. With Jupiter there, it's, it's, it's going to be a time where you'll be looking at what can I do to grow, to learn? It's going to be a really big topic for you, over this, particularly over this next month. So really be willing and be open to learning some new skills that could really enhance you and your career in some way. And many of you have asked me, some of you say, well, look, you know, I'm, I don't have a career. Well, you might not have, in inverted commas, a specific career, like a banker or an artist or whatever, but you still have something to contribute to this world. Each one of us does. Maybe you're doing it in a very quiet way. Maybe you work with animals. Maybe you uh, do something with the flowers and the trees. Um, and nature, or gardening. But it's still about expanding that knowledge, being willing to expand yourself, to take it maybe into a new area. That's exciting. On the 16th of the month, we've got a full moon lunar eclipse happening here in your third house, joining Neptune. A lunar eclipse shining a light on, your, on the people around you. Yes, you may change neighbourhoods, you may decide you're going to uh, do some different kind of networking. It's a very good time for really looking at the people that you've got close around you and seeing whether those are the kinds of people that make you feel good, that you're, you feel boosted by. And that could also be online as well as uh, actually in person, because this third house would rule your online activities. And maybe it's time just to network and join some new groups and some new kinds of people that excite you, that interest you. And Capricorn, sometimes you are a little bit, um, uh, you don't necessarily always like to be the ones to be the first at something. Yes, sometimes you kind of see what's going on and then you come along. But this, I feel, is really these eclipses are triggering you and say, come on Capricorns, take a risk. Really go there where you want to be with your career. Take those risks and just know that when you do that very often, things really move forward for you in your life in new ways. 
So post something on Facebook, join Facebook, do something differently, join another network. Um, because with this transit of Jupiter in Libra, it's Facebook's Jupiter return as well. So they're going to be doing some new things. You, so you can expect a lot of new technological changes happening and you may be a part of it or you may need to learn some of it. So it's, it's, it's an exciting time where voice commands are going to be very powerful, being, you know, instead of having to type everything, we're going to be able to speak it and get the answers from our computers. So maybe you'd like to be at the leading edge of that in terms of learning it and understanding it and maybe helping others to bring it into their work, their businesses or their personal life. On the 23rd of the month, Mercury, yay, goes direct. So that makes communications easier, signing leases, contracts, agreements, travel arrangements, all those kinds of things just should go more in a flow for you. On the 24th of the month, we've got Venus coming into your 11th house. This is lovely for friendships, networking. It's lovely for doing something that you share, maybe to a wide community online, and that they really love what you do. You might make a friend that becomes a love interest, or just somebody that you really deeply love. There's a really uh, a connection where you share a lot of common interests. On the 28th of the month, we've got Mars coming into your sign. This is great, Capricorn. Mars in your sign should give you a boost of energy. Uh, you really should feel as though you can get going on things that might have been slow, a little bit stuck. This should be really, really good for you and a good time as well to do anything physical. Get your body moving. And on the 30th of the month, we've got a new moon happening up here in your 10th house. New beginnings, again connected with your career, your work, being seen in the world, being seen by new people, being ready to be seen more and take the work that you do, whatever it is, out to a wider audience. It's so much easier now with our internet getting easier, the technology advancing, which is going to advance much more in these next years, uh, especially over this next four or five years. And so uh, Capricorns, um, it's going to be a very significant time this next five year period as we lead up to some significant events in 2020, 2021, when there's a huge lineup of planets in Capricorn. I'm doing a seminar and a webinar all about that, and I do hope many of you will join me in Greece on October 1st and 2nd. But more about that in future videos.